my name is Dave Scatoro, and as one of the principals here at Alpine Painting, I want to welcome you to our company. In this video, we'll be going over some of the basics when working here. We'll be introducing you to some of our key employees and preparing you for a long career here at Alpine Painting. So in 1975, Alpine Painting was founded by my father, Ben Scaturro, and his brother, Steve Scaturro. My brother-in-law, Ben, was a gym teacher. Steven had just recently graduated from college. He was talking with his friends and figured out that the starting wages for an engineer weren't all that great. And what he decided to do was get into the painting business. And somewhere along the way, they really got themselves very organized and they realized that painting was the place that they could really make it happen above all the other things that they tried. Uh, my name is Ben Scaturo. Uh, I'm the uh, president and uh, one of the co-owners of the company. I started this company with my brother Steve uh, approximately 40 years ago, 1975. We were doing houses, we were doing interiors, doing exteriors. We had a waiting list, we had a backlog. We had so many people calling us, looking for us to do work that we couldn't get to it fast enough. They're painting apartment complexes, butcher shops, whatever they can get their hands on. We separated crews. Um, Steve would oversee one of the crews. I would oversee the other crew. At that time, we tried to get into a little bit more commercial painting. Once we did commercial, we never looked back. We developed some friendships with other people, and we started painting offices and warehouses. They took the business and they made the biggest leap of their lives. They purchased the paint sprayer. <laughs> From there, it got them into bigger facilities, being able to do larger work. And before they knew it, they were starting to build a very impressive company. And then one of their friends, who was another painting contractor, gave them the ability to work under them on an industrial project, a water tank. Now this was huge for them. Well, they actually did a very good job they completed the project, made some money, and decided, you know what, this is something that we want to get involved with. So they started working on more complex industrial structures. And really, that's how the industrial side of the business was born. So we're here at 17 Florida Ave. We've been here for 30 years. It's amazing, I would have never thought to get from painting an apartment to what we paint today, an award-winning painting contractor. The culture at Alpine Painting has changed dramatically over the last 10 years. It's a place that you're happy to come to work to every day. It's a place where we have a great group of people that are hardworking, that work together to accomplish goals. I'm really happy to be a part of it. We strive here at Alpine to ensure everybody enjoys what they do. Because the company belongs to the family, it's very family oriented. It's all very tight knit, everyone's very close and you do feel like you're part of an extended family, but it's very fast paced, we do a lot, we have a lot of pride in what we do. The people here have no problem mentoring you if you want to be successful here and we're very much team oriented. Everything about Alpine Painting is centered around team. From our crews working together with our project managers, estimators and salespeople, internal office staff, customer service department. We are all a team. We work as a team to provide the best service to our customers and to create a good experience for our end users. Most of our employees are very career oriented and I think that they look to stay with us at Alpine Painting. They're looking to make this job the one and only job that they may have throughout their life. We have many different people from different backgrounds, different parts of the country, even the world. And everybody here is adding their personal touch to make Alpine the best it can be. I think a big benefit of working here at Alpine Painting is that we don't restrict individuals from being themselves. We give them the ability to be creative, to take a different approach, to help and strive to be a better employee, a better company, and to really push our business to the next level. Our existing employees do a fantastic job. Everybody plays a part in what goes on in the company, from the guys that are out in the field doing work, uh, 180 feet in the air, uh, risking their lives to some degree, uh, hanging off the side of a building, uh, suspended scaffolding underneath the tank. 
uh, to the people in the office. Everybody does their part in making this a great company. Safety is our number one concern here at Alpine. For us, there's nothing that's uh, left out there with safety. We are doing everything 100% by the book. We have a full-time environmental safety and quality manager that goes out and does job site audits. We have supervisors out in the field doing daily toolbox meetings, and we require every single one of our employees to uh, report near misses, report uh, potential problems that we could fix before they occur so that we don't have accidents or incidents on our job and have a situation where we have employees going home hurt because that's the last thing that we want. We're a very safety conscious company. We are constantly training our employees to make sure that they are not hurt on the job. We always supply safety boots, uniforms, hard hats, everything that is required for them to work in a safe environment. In the shop we use safety glasses, we use face shields, we use earplugs, we use safety equipment for sandblasting, helmets, gloves. Well, with regards to safety in the field, Alpine personnel are all trained to basically inspect all rigging equipment and all uh, personal protective equipment prior to its use every day and at the end of the day. So our guys inspect their harnesses, we inspect the rigging lines, safety lines, uh, cable motors, you name it. We ensure the best safety on our jobs by ongoing training for safety. I've been a part of respirator training, forklift training, and all hazmat trainings and stuff like that. So here is very specific and very detailed. The type of training we provide is very vast. We have a full safety program. We do do OSHA 10 hour training. We have an in-house trainer who is OSHA 500 certified. So. We do the full-on OSHA 10-hour training for all of our field employees who come through. We have recently made so many changes to the company to really increase that safety. We want to be better than the other companies. We don't want to just go to what the standards are. We want to break them. We want to be better than all of the standards. Through the last 40 years, Alpine Painting has started from the ground up and grew into the structure we are today. The reason we have stayed on top is to our adherence to a high set of standards and a top quality that we deliver to every job. I've been in the business now for over 30 years and I'm always surprised at where the business comes from. And I was taught you can paint one closet and that closet could be owned by a guy who owns a building. So you treat every customer as if they're the most important customer that you have. And it's the same precept. You give respect and you get respect and you get a job and you see where it goes. Quality is a critical role. And this is one of those points that gets missed a lot of times when contractors are being evaluated by the end user. If a customer is looking to hire a contractor, they're gonna go based on a feel from the initial uh, estimate. And then once they get the proposal, the price has a large part of it. Unfortunately, quality is sometimes cut out or it's compressed because the price is a lot cheaper or they're working with a contractor that doesn't hold quality in as high regard as we do. Now I can tell the customer I'm going to do a quality job and unless he's an engineer he probably doesn't know maybe for 10 or 15 years whether it was a quality job. So how do you define quality to that client? Is it just me saying it? I mean I mean it if I say it but how does that give the customer a, a, the warm fuzzy feeling about it? But if you have certifications from well-recognized organizations and, it, and you put yourself under a microscope using the QP processes, saying, I'm willing to have a highly recognized outside agency come in and, and measure my quality, and does it meet the requirements of what they expect? The first time someone asked me how many awards do you have? My answer was uh, none. Why? Well, we feel that that's important, that you're winning awards in your field, in your trade, meaning you're better than your competition. I never thought of it that way. Since that day, we never stopped winning awards. We have won every safety award we can win in our fields, in every one of our trades. You don't win an award because you're average. 
you win an award because you're the best. The future is the transition from the first generation to the second generation. Ben is already retired, I'll be retired very soon, and my three nephews are taking over the business. I see the business starting at a terrific level where we're at. Uh, the old guys brought it as far as they could. Now I see the younger guys with far more energy, excitement, drive, and education than we ever had to be able to take it to the next level. And I see, I see a tremendous opportunity for Alpine. And frankly, I see a legacy. If you're concerned about growth within a company, I think that this is a great place to be because we're a company that is growing. So in growth or in a company that's growing, we need people to step up and take on bigger positions, take on more expanded role, or move up within the organization to a position of management. And we've had a number of employees do that over the last couple years. I think over the last 40 years, Alpine has really changed from what the original two-man crew that it started as up to what we're at now. And the advances that we've made in the past few years with the iPads and with the inspectors and just growing, we have a lot farther to go. This company is going to grow a lot. They're going to become bigger and better and we're always ahead of the curve and whatever the new technology that comes out, whatever the new certifications, whatever the new standards are going to be, we're always going to be one step ahead of them. People have started from the bottom with little to no experience. And just because they're a hard-working individual, that wants to learn and is striving to be as good as they possibly can be. They have endless opportunities here. The best advice I can give someone coming into our company is put your best foot forward. Work hard, show us your dedication, show us that you have a passion for what you do and it's absolutely gonna pay off here. We love to promote from within and if you show us your passion, you show us your drive, it will definitely pay off in the end. I think the most important piece of advice I could give any new potential employee, regardless of the position, would be never fake it. If you don't know, be willing to admit you don't know and, and, and ask questions. If there's one piece of advice that I can give to somebody is be yourself. We're willing to embrace new people with new ideas and creative approaches at problem solving. Speak up. Um, if you feel uncomfortable about anything, whether it's uh, a job that you're doing, you know, just always ask questions and always talk to somebody. You got to understand that we're very much family oriented here. If you are Alpine, if you wear the Alpine logo, then you're definitely family. And take it from me, it's, 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 it's a good feeling. So if you ever have any problems at all, anything whatsoever regarding forklifts or anything, equipment or just personal issues, we're here for you. So just talk to us and we can help you through anything. For a new employee, here are a couple tips that I suggest that I used on my own is to one, stay focused, two, don't give up, three, when it gets hard, push through and you will succeed. I would say come in like a sponge, absorb everything you can absorb, don't be afraid to ask questions, don't hide, you know, learn as much as you can because everybody in the office or in the field plays a key role in our success and we want the new hire to be one of those people too. We have a very good staff here that are very quality and safety oriented and if you're willing to learn they're very willing to teach. You know the old saying for me is if you enjoy what you do your chances are you're going to be good at what you do. So that's what we try and push around uh, this office and in our field and we hope to continue that culture and work environment into the future.